USA Today Sports The 2018 Winter Olympics are in full force, with the game's first weekend coming to a close. We're, here to get you ready for a new day of action, and catch you up on what you missed, what to watch snowboard. American Jamie Anderson is defending champion in women's slope style and will be a favorite to repeat. Due to high winds, the women's slope style qualifying scheduled for Sunday was cancelled. Monday's competition, which can be viewed at 8 p.m. ET on Sunday, has been shortened to a final round, with two runs. Typically, the women will have qualifying and three runs in the final. Speed skating, U.S. Speed skater Heather Bergsma is reigning world champ in the women's 1,500 meters. Four years ago, the U.S. speed skating team was shot out of the medals in Sochi. It has made a lot of changes in the four years since, but how will the Americans perform in the spotlight? Figure skating, in the team event, all eyes will be on Nathan Chen and Mirai Nagazu, who will compete in the men's and women's free skate. In ice dance, the Shibsibs, Maya, and Alex Chibutini, are up again. The United States enters the final day in third place behind Canada and the Olympic athletes from Russia. Snowboard American 17-year-old star Chloe Kim has been dominant in the halfpipe. She won the X Games in January and has a 1,080 in her bag of tricks. She would have qualified for the last Olympics but was too young to make the team. Even though it's her first Olympics, she's the favorite for gold. Alpine skiing Fans will have to wait for Michaela Schifrin's Pyeongchang debut. Because the women's giant slalom was postponed due to high winds, Schifrin, the current overall World Cup leader, is a medal contender in giant slalom. The 2014 Olympic champion in slalom has said she'd like to ski all five individual events in Pyeongchang. Watch out, world, because she also says she's feeling healthy. Stories to read, with temperatures in the single digits. How are athletes adjusting to the harsh conditions? Officials announced that 20 additional cases of norovirus have been confirmed, bringing the total to 159 confirmed cases at the Olympics. Gus Kenworthy talks about sexuality. Vice President Mike Pence. Leslie Jones is back in full force with her hysterical Olympics commentary. What should fans expect from Bode Miller as an NBC commentator? Jordan Greenway is U.S. hockey team's first African-American Olympian. The surprise of these Olympics? The North Korean cheerleaders. Meet Team USA. Get to know every American athlete what you missed snowboard slope style. Red Gerard was the lone American to reach the final. And after falling on his first two runs, the 17-year-old put down his third run cleanly on route to the gold medal. The United States' first medal of the Games. Gerard scored a 87.16, edging Canadians Max Parrott. 86.00, for silver and Mark McMorris, 85.20, for bronze. Figure skating, the USA has been consistent but not spectacular so far in the figure skating team competition, sitting in third following Sunday's events. A highlight for the Americans was a perfect performance by U.S. national champion Brady Tennille in her Olympic debut. Unexpected drama in the team event occurred during the routine of Yuriman and Alexander Gamelon, as a hook malfunction on men's costume forced her to ad-lib parts of her routine to keep her top up. The day's events, however, left one USA Today sports writer thinking the team competition was contrived and weird. Men's Luge Team USA earned its first ever medal in men's singles luge when Chris Mazzer won silver. David Gleischer of Austria won the gold while Johannes Ludwig of Germany took bronze. Women's Mogas It was a disappointing effort for Team USA, as all three competitors failed to advance to the third run of the finals. Karine Lafont, France, won the gold, followed by Justine de Report, Canada, and Yulia Galisheva of Kazakhstan. Men's 5,000 speed skating make it three consecutive Olympic gold medals for Sven Kramer of the Netherlands. He beat Ted Jan Bloman of Canada and Sparamanda Pedersen of Norway. Men's biathlon 10 km sprint. Germany's Arne Piper took home the gold, followed by Michal Kramar of the Czech Republic and Dominic Windisch of Italy. Men's 30 km skiathlon. It was a clean sweep for Norway as Simon Hegstad Kruger won gold. Martin Johnstert Sundby took silver and Hans Kreister Holland won bronze. U.S. Women's Hockey Team USA opens with a tough 3-1 victory over Finland.